YouTube, Kyle here, aka Smooth Flipper, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to have long-term success with flipping phones. Now, this is a video that I've uh, been wanting to upload for you guys just because I've um, just been getting a lot of messages of people who are into phone flipping um, in it, you know, for the quick cash, um, but they don't have a plan uh, for the long term and if they want to do this or if you guys want to do this long term you got to have a plan um, you got to have uh, you know different solutions for some of the problems that you're gonna that you're gonna have to overcome and it's not just about you know buying and reselling you're gonna have a, a lot of different issues when it comes to marketing uh, when it comes to knowing different platforms when it comes to a ton of different things um, that you know usually we don't we don't uh, have to go over because a lot of it is just positive for the most part. But again, behind closed doors, there, there is some things that um, a lot of us have to go through that um, it, it can affect our business a lot uh, if we didn't have the proper tools. So, you know, again, this is for, you know, those who are serious about this, um, you know, whether you're a beginner just getting started, I'm going to give you guys uh, different different tools or if you are in the game for you know three or four years and things are slowing down, I'm just gonna give you guys some tips. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do um, in order to make this a long-term type business is to progress. Now, when I say you know progress, I mean um, you have to be more diverse. I know a lot of people who are just buying and reselling iPhones, whether it is uh, iPhone 7 through X uh, or iPhone 5S through X, you know, iPhones are uh, popular. Obviously, they are the best, you know, the top sellers. But when it comes to uh, progressing and, and, and selling more on eBay, you have to be more diverse. You cannot just stick to iPhones uh, because, you know, in, in reality, there's not enough iPhones out there to buy. Um, to to you know keep your to keep your business growing. Um, so what you know what's next if you're if you're someone who just likes iPhones and who, who can just you know uh, inspect and appraise iPhones, then stick to uh, Apple products if you if you want the, it's all the same system. Stick to Apple products and start buying iPads. Start advertising that you buy iPads um, and slowly move up. You know it's not gonna happen overnight as far as you know you're not going to say well i did five thousand um last month i started doing ipads now i'm doing thirty thousand this month it's not like that but you want to always be um uh, increasing as far as sales and and you know your business so uh, if you want to do ipads go ahead and do ipads you can do ipods you can do macbooks you know the whole goal um, when it comes to Apple products is you want to be able to buy iPhones, iPods, iPads, and MacBooks um, if you're just going to stick to, uh, you know, Apple. And there are some people who, you know, stick to just Android, who are who are strictly Android users um, who know how to, you know, inspect an Android phone and it's the same way. They stick to the Galaxies um, and, and that's it. But if you want to progress, you want to get better at this, um, you want to make more money with this, you have to um, you know, pretty much buy whatever you can. You know, for me, uh, I, I'll buy iPhone, iPod, iPad, MacBook, um, uh, what else? Samsung Galaxies, you know, the, the S series, the Note series, um, you know, a lot, a lot of different things. Pixels, Google Pixels, LG B30s sell well. You know, you want to be as diverse as, as possible uh, because at the end of the day, you know, if you can make a profit on it, then, then, then why not buy it? Uh, and, and again, you know, a lot of people do struggle with the the, the whole uh, inspection process, but at the end of the day, they're all phones. It's all the, pretty much the same thing. You have to check uh, just different names for it. Um, but you know, the, my whole point as far as this progression topic is don't settle. You know, just for for one for one particular uh, model. You know, don't just settle for iPhones or or you know, I'm, I'm only going to buy iPhone seven. Uh, through X, or I'm only going to buy um, iPhone 8 Plus through X. And that's you know, and that's and that's good if you do. Um, if you have been doing this for a while, you can you can get away with that. But if you're just beginning and you know, just don't you know, 
don't be so close minded to other um, uh, different models and stuff like that. Learn how to do it. And, you know, don't be afraid to make a mistake if you're transitioning from, you know, flipping just iPhones to Android. If you make that first mistake, then, hey, it, it is what it is. But then, you know what to check next time. So progression number one. Number two is this is a very, very important um, topic that I want to go over. And that is keeping up with Facebook algorithms and um, other platforms algorithms. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, you know, the, the algorithm on Facebook has been changing drastically. Um, I know I can recall, you know, uh, like, like I said in the last video, you know, we, we would get 5,000 views on our different ads we would post. And this is last year. Um, now, Facebook has changed their algorithm, you know, at least five times since since then, and it is kind of uh, making the business, you know, a bit inconsistent, you know. So let's say last year, you know, I would buy uh, five phones. Five phones is a good day. So let's say five phones last year um, with one marketplace post. Let's say I buy five phones. Um, that's a good day. And then on a bad day, uh, I would buy three phones. So five to three, you know, then back up to five. And then one day I might do six. This is all for last year. And then now this year that the algorithm has changed so much, um, you have to utilize every single platform you can. Meaning people were just doing well with, with uh, Marketplace. They were just doing Marketplace, Marketplace only because they were supplied with the, with more phones and anything so they, they were they were fine but now you might get you know one or two phones from marketplace uh two phones from offer up one phone from the craigslist um but that's all it comes down to you having to keep posting over and over again to get um your ad seen you know you know the the views on on marketplace have went down drastically like i said five thousand views uh used to be you know the norm for 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 marketplace ads so nowadays it's like you know you hit you hit 400 views you're like yeah I'm, I'm satisfied um or you get you get uh 15 messages that day you're satisfied you know like again last year we would get 60 plus messages um just off of marketplace itself so these algorithms are changing and it's up to you guys to keep up with them uh you know i have to do it as well keeping up with everything knowing what works and what doesn't work um you know, and, and it's good. It's good. This is why I have that Facebook group, because we all are doing this. We all can kind of come come together and think of ideas to get past this algorithm. Um, at the same time, it does it does kind of suck, but it helps a lot. You know, as far as just business in general, because we're, we're learning more ways to market. We're learning more ways of of, of how to get phones and, and and trying to think outside the box, trying to outthink Facebook, who who, you know, obviously is a huge company. Um, so just trying to do that, keeping up with all the algorithms, knowing uh, when to post, kind of having a a, uh, a flow as far as let me post on, let me, let me post on uh, 1 p.m. every day. That works the best for, for me. You know, knowing that is very important because, again, you don't want to have those days where you buy two phones one day, and then for three days, you don't buy any phone. That's not going to, you're not going to advance. You're not going to, you know, be, increase your, uh, your your success with this business if you aren't consistent, if you're not buying phones consistently. Now, again, uh, last year, it would go from five being good to three phones a day um, being, you know, that, that was a bad day. Three phones was a bad day. Now it's, you know, you're not, you know, you're really experiencing bad days by not buying anything. So again keeping up with that is very important probably one of the most important steps when it is when it comes to uh long-term success because again this is how we do get our phones um you know using these different platforms we have to be on top of that so make sure you guys are on top of that now number three this also kind of piggybacks on the algorithm issue just by letting ads sit to optimize and what i mean by that is uh, again, people are so used to um, getting all these views, you know, the first hour they would get, you know, 200 views, um, 20 messages, their first hour of posting that post. This is last year. Now, this year, it's like, okay, my first hour, I have 15 views, uh, one message. People start to panic. 
they get into panic mode and they start, you know, they say, maybe it's my ad, my ads, my ads not doing well, maybe it's my ad. They delete their ad, try another one. Same thing, they do, the, and then they just keep panic, they, they panic and panic, and they just don't let their ads sit. You know, I've had a lot of success at the end of my ads, which means if I'm posting every 24 hours, and my post, or excuse me, my ad has, um, you know, it has been up for 20, 21 hours, um, and then that last three hours of it sitting, then, I, then I'm flooded with messages. And that's just because the ad it needs to optimize, it needs to, it needs to um, get into that Facebook algorithm and, and work its way up um, in the marketplace as far as, um, you know, the algorithm has pushed it down. So when you keep getting messages and, and continue to get messages that that ad is going to get pushed up, which means more people will see your ad and more people will reply to your ad, which means more phones. So let them sit. Don't, you know, don't panic. Let them sit. Um, you know, and, and you'll know after a while, you know, if just say three days that phone, that ad didn't get any hits, then yeah, it might be time to just delete that one. That wasn't a good one. Um, you know, now that that ad doesn't convert, so I won't be using that picture. So number three, stick, that stick to, uh, let your ads, um, sit and optimize. Now the last one is stick to what works guys. This is, this is very important as well because I see a lot of people trying to think, you know, it's good to, it's good to think outside the box. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying don't do that, but you know, they don't focus on what's working already. Um, and then add on to that. You want to, you want to do what's working right now and add on to that. You don't want to just start, you know, your first day of phone flipping and, and saying, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, pass out flyers. I'm not going to post anything on Facebook, no ads anywhere on the platforms that we've all been told to post on. I'm going to hand out flyers and that's not a smart decision because, you know, flyers, you know, who knows if flyers work? Flyers, flyers hasn't been a um you know it hasn't been confirmed that it works as far as getting leads and stuff like that so you don't want to go straight into it trying to think outside the box you know it's always it's always important for you guys to to reinvent the wheel you know um you know, don't just build a whole new you know platform uh reinvent it find out what people are doing do that and then branch off of that so you're still getting those leads and those phones from those from the original uh, ads and platform, but yeah, you can go out and do flyers, um, or, you know, the road signs, stuff like that, um, billboard signs. You can go out and do that when you are at a point where, um, you know, you've already mastered those different platforms. So again, guys, uh, just, just to go over number one was progression. Two was keeping up with all the algorithms on Facebook and other platforms. Three is to let those ads sit and optimize. And four is to stick to what works. So guys, if you did find some value in this video, uh, please drop a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Check out those links at the bottom in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.